our next step is step 15. Um, and I'm just highlighting it over here to the left. It says use the rectangle tool, the pattern drafting tool, which we have used already. Um, and it tells us the measurements to make a sleeve cuff five by five by two inches. And then it wants us to arrange and sew it. It also wants us to make a symmetric copy before simulating. So we've done all of this already. So I wanna challenge you, can you guys do this um, without my video demonstration? I wanna suggest you try it. There is one thing that's different is that when you sew it, this is the first time you'll be sewing a longer pattern piece to a shorter one. So that might throw you like, you know, a loop or whatever. Um, but anyways, try 15 by yourself. So just hit pause <laughs> and give it a shot. And, and anyways, the video is here for you to watch in case you um, would like to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. I'm gonna use the rectangle tool and instead of clicking and dragging, I'm just gonna click uh, one time, click. And that way I can just type in 5.5 tab, two inches. Say, oh, number of shape, I'm just gonna say, okay, just one. Okay, I'm gonna, let's see here, zoom in, panning. Um, I'm gonna hit the letter A. So this is clearly a lot smaller, correct? Right, this cuff. Um, so to sew it together, I'm gonna use the free sewing tool. I'm gonna click here and here, and then I'm gonna click here and there. So I'm sewing 10 inches, which is five and a half. Now I also, I'm gonna uh, switch to the segment sewing tool because I do need to sew the cuff the sleeve as well to itself. Okay, and then now I need to arrange the cuff on this uh, avatar. So, uh, six, okay, I'm hitting number six. I can hit Shift F, that's a fast way to get my arrangement points. There's always the toggle menu as well. Um, my pattern is selected. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click. Make sure I'm in the right tool. Okay, I'm gonna click this little blue dot. Oh, you know what? My pattern was not selected. I'm gonna try that one time. Select my pattern and I'll get that little. I'm gonna hit six again, get that blue dot. Hmm, I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> okay, there it goes. I'm gonna look underneath it. Let's go in on here. I'm gonna pan, I'm gonna zoom in. Um, it looks like the stitches are gonna go through her hand because it's just so small. So maybe what I'll do is I'll select it one more time and I'll push it down with the gizmo tool. Let's see if that kind of, it'll probably still work its way out even if I didn't do that, but just to be extra careful, I'm gonna make sure. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh gosh, pan over. Oh yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, so before we simulate, um, I want to select this guy, I wanna right click, I wanna clone it um, with sewing. And then where do I wanna put it? So I was kinda realizing I should put it over here, see how it's on the shadow? And then that way it kinda pops up over here on the other side of the avatar. And then I uh, probably still have to move it anyways. I think I'm just gonna reselect it. There we go. Um, okay, it looks like the stitching's going through her wrist. So I'm gonna hit number two. I'm gonna pan over, I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna select that. Oops, oh no, I picked the anchor point. I didn't want to, I mean the arrangement point. There we are. Okay, I want the gizmo to come up. I think right now I'm gonna hit shift F to get those arrangement points gone. Select this guy, we got our gizmo tool. Let's see what I can do to arrange this a little closer. Honestly, between you and me, I feel like even though it's kind of going through her skin, it's pretty smart to figure out not to do that most of the time. So I'm kind of being a perfectionist here, but honestly, that's probably okay. But just to avoid it, here we go. Okay, that's probably fine. Okay, cool. And then now um, the final step of number 15 is to simulate. There we go. That looks good. Cool. Okay, so number 16, we want to make half of the rib waistband. So um, 
Okay, let's see here. Um, if we're gonna do half, I'm trying to remember how this goes. Um, because there is a zipper in the front, I wonder if that we're gonna have a center back seam. Is that what's happening? I think that's what it is. Maybe I'll change my mind later. Um, let's see. So two inches by 16 and a half, arrange it and sew, and then we make a symmetric copy again. So this really is exactly the same as number 15. You're just gonna do it for the waistband. And I suggest having a center front seam and a center back seam because later we will have a zipper. So that's how we're gonna place it. Um, okay, so again, hit pause, try to do this yourself or follow along with my video as well. So. I'm gonna go back to our rectangle tool here. This is actually making an actual pattern. It's not an internal line or anything. It's actual like fabric pattern piece. I'm gonna click it, I guess where, you know what? Before I do, I think I wanna move my, um, my, uh, what do you call it, cuff? I'm gonna zoom in. I wanna keep this kind of organized. So I'm gonna hit the letter A. I'm gonna select the cuff and I'm gonna scoot it over here so that it can um, just be placed underneath the sleeve. Okay, and then I think my rectangle, I'm gonna place it like underneath the back and the front. So I'm gonna go back to our rectangle, keyboard shortcut S. I'm just gonna click one time. Okay, so the width is 16.5 inches and the height is two inches. Okay, cool. I'm gonna hit A, I'm just gonna scoot it right here, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, and, okay, let's see here. And I'm gonna sew it. And this is where I could probably do the M to M sewing under the free sewing, so M to M free sewing. Okay, so I'm gonna click this back seam. I'm starting at center back. I'm gonna click here. I'm not gonna hit enter because I wanna keep this seam going. Okay, so now this part of the seam is done. So I'm gonna hit enter. Now I'm gonna tell it where to sew to. And I only want it to sew on this waistband to here. I'm gonna click, now I'm not done. I have to hit enter or return. And I just did it. Okay, cool. So there's our stitches. Um, yeah, so now we can clone this guy. I guess I'll put him here, maybe. Um, okay, what's happening? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna click right here on the pattern. See that blue dot? I'm trying to figure out where my center front is, and it looks like this is my center front, and this is my center front. So I can sew those two together for a center front seam, and then I could sew the other seam for the center back seam together. So I hope you're following along with how to sew the center front seam. And in this case, hitting, the little picking point, this blue dot was kind of handy for me just to kind of quickly be like, are you the center front or are you the center back and you're twisted? You never know. Okay, <clears throat> I'm just gonna use our, I know they're exactly the same length, it's nothing tricky, so I'm just using the segment so for that and I'm just keeping an eye on my little tabs so they don't get like cricket sewing. Um, okay, I need to place it on my avatar. So I'm over here on the avatar, shift F, um, I'm gonna click, oh no, I didn't mean to simulate, stop. Spacebar's a, a quick way to stop it. I'm gonna hit Command Z. Command Z, there we are. Ooh, oh, it's a close one. Okay, I'm selecting that. Shift F, get those arrangement points. I'm gonna go to her side, which is keyboard shortcut number two. Ah, her hand's kind of in the way. Okay. There we go. Click that, okay. I'm gonna hit number two. It looks like it's really close to her. Um, so I'm gonna hit Shift F to get rid of the arrangement points. I'm gonna, I really want my gizmo. Yeah, I'm just gonna scoop it out a little bit. And it mirrored the other one, so that's kinda nice. Okay, that's probably good enough. Now I'm ready to simulate. Spacebar is a keyboard shortcut. Okay, cool. We have our rib band on. And I know this can get more complicated as far as assigning the right fabric. We're just kind of using the default Muslim fabric. There is jersey, there is rib. We are, haven't gotten to that yet. It's working out fine just with the default fabric. But yes, there is many more we can do in case you're wondering.